Okay, Peter, I've got the directions. Head north on the turnpike. That's gonna be the quickest route to Maine. Sure, Lois. Say, ladies, I was wondering if you could tell me, what was childbirth like? Oh, Glenn, you have no idea. It's something no man could understand. Think of the most intense pain you've ever felt and imagine feeling that for hours. Well, and then by the eighth month, I had hemorrhoids that hung like bunches of grapes. And then they said I was four centimeters dilated. They didn't think I was far enough, but I was like, I can tell you I'm far enough. And that's when Chris was born. Gosh, that's all so fascinating. Let me ask you something else. Have you girls ever worked in an office with other women who you have negative things to say about? Oh, oh God, my yes. God. Quagmire, shut up. We're here. You drove us to Virginia? All right, look, we're sorry we deceived you girls, but this is important. The trail leads to a bartender who works here. He could be the source of the dirty joke. Hi there, what can I do for you gentlemen? We've traveled a very long way to find out where you heard this joke. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. I heard it from that guy. Cleveland? Hey, fellas. Holy crap, who knew we'd run into you here except everyone if Fox ruined it in the promos? What a surprise this is. Donna, it's so nice of you to invite us to stay here. Oh, Lois, it's my pleasure. I don't think we've seen you folks since the wedding. Still waiting on that gift. The gift was the show. Ah, she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's great to have y'all down here. Hey, you know, Cleveland, you better hide the markers from your kids. Somebody colored in your Jesus. Somebody colored in your ass with too much ass, fat ass. All right, Cleveland, let's get down to business. Who told you the joke? A bellhop at the Royale Hotel in Washington, D.C. I met him when I took Cleveland Jr. there to see the Lincoln Memorial. But then Daddy got frustrated because he couldn't find it, so we just ate fast food in the parking lot. I'm just saying, maybe put up a damn sign. Anyway, the bellhop's name is Sal Russo. He knows every dirty joke ever written. Then that's the guy we gotta talk to. Everyone, don't get too used to being around black people, because we are going to Washington, D.C. Now, wait a minute, Peter. Donna's been nice enough to invite us to stay the weekend. And frankly, that sounds better than continuing this wild goose chase. Well, Lois, if you and Barney want to stay here, maybe Cleveland could join us. Yeah, it'd be just like old times. What do you say, Cleveland? Oh, I don't know. I've kind of got my own life now. All right, well, if you have a sudden change of heart and you want to chase us down the street as we're pulling away, you know where to find us. Okay, guys, I got one. Would you rather get a massage from a man or surgery from a female doctor? Wow. Like minor surgery? No, serious surgery, like a blown kidney or something. Jeez. Good question, Peter. Is the man gay? Nope. Is the female doctor at least Jewish or Asian? No, but actually, you know what? I'm going to take it up a notch. Hispanic female doctor or gay male masseuse? Hispanic from Spain? No. Oh. Oh. So it's basically, would you rather get a massage from a gay man or die? All right, I got another one. Let Amy Winehouse spit in your mouth or eat a raw slice of Anderson Cooper's ass. Sign me up for Cooper. Ah! What the hell? What the hell was that about? Who were those guys? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. I saw one of them back in the bar at Stoolbend. You think they were following us? Either that or they got a grudge against our back windshield. Oh, Joe, that's so dumb. Why would anybody be trying to kill us? It might be safe to assume that someone does not want us to learn the origin of that joke. We had no idea how right Cleveland was. And if we had known what lay ahead, we would have stopped right there and gone straight back to Quahog. But we didn't know. We didn't know.